What's up, B2? Capital G here. Got a couple of quick and excellent duels for you guys to check out. This is going to be the best two out of three, and it is uh, going to be featuring Crusadia down here at the bottom. This is a pure version of Crusadia. You kind of know that just by seeing Crusadia Testament in this guy's opening hand. He is not really focused on guard dragon plays. He just wants to get the Equimax and just basically body his opponent with it. If you use Equimax and Maximus, you can do all types of damage, especially with like the Kaijus. Generally speaking, I do believe that, um, like, pure... I, I personally think that, um, like, pure Crusadia should go second because Equimax plus Kaijus is, like, that makes life happy. You just, like, Kaiju and then <laughs> make the Equimax or summon a Kaiju to the Equimax's link point or summon it in the uh, the columns with the extra monster zones. But regardless, he's facing off against a Mermil Orcus build. You guys know Orcus going, like, everything. And I think that uh, Mermil Orcus has actually been topping regionals over the past couple of weeks. And so Konami bans Mermaid, which won't be for a while because they got them negatives to sell. We're going to see Orcus and everything. Anyways, I think his, um, his focus here is probably going to be to drop uh, Naturia Beast and also Equimax. I think that that's going to be the main play. He is playing those searchable spells and traps. You can see right here he has the uh, the Crawler Crusadia, which also uh, nets you a plus one if I'm not mistaken. Abyssius is going to be negated. He does not uh, he does not want him to get that search. Although he has Genix Undyne that can drop um, that can drop uh, infantry in the graveyard, so he can still actually get a pop. So bye bye to Naturia Beast. He does not have protection, unlike some of the other cards. Here come the Orcus out the play. Fair enough. You know that that means he's probably going to go for Rusty Bardia. Yep, nope, not okay. Not going to go for that. Just going to go for Dengirsu. He gets protection from our uh, Fror, or uh, excuse me, he gets protection from Abori. I can speak. That. I don't know why. <laughs> then he's going to work down the ladder. He's doing this so that he can continue getting those searches. He wants to get he wants to get searches from um, like his uh, lower Crusadia monsters. He is going to get hit by Call by the Grave. That was unfortunate because you can tell he really wanted to go for um, like he wanted to go. For for Equimax and try to do massive damage, especially considering he has the copy of Maximus in his hand. He can double any battle damage, but instead he does have to go for a different play, but it's perfectly fine. He's just going to say, all right, I'll just go for Crusadia Mech Knight um, Astrum, one of the hardest cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! to kill. Not a lot of people play the card, but it is still a great card. He did use Maximus on his um, on his Astrum, so uh, yeah, Maximus <laughs> pumping up the, the new version of Maximus, essentially. This means he gets double battle damage. So take that straight to the face and um his opponent is in a position where, I mean, he has Monster Reborn as an extender, and he can bring back Galatea. So let's see exactly where he's going to go. But if I'm the uh, if I'm the Crusadia player, I'm feeling pretty good about my position. He does immediately just go ahead and say, I'm just going to take your copy of Rusty Bardish. I would not have allowed him to activate the effect. The second you summon Bard, I'm just taking it. But honestly, it would not have mattered here because he is going to bring back Dingirisu and pop the uh, Crackdown, and he would have been able to activate the effect anyways. But he it looks like he just ends up scooping he says i can't kill the mech knight crusadia astrum i mean i don't know if this guy's not running boss war dragon or what but he just was uh he just scooped it up which i don't know that was kind of weird i would have at least tried to like play it out anyways game two looks like uh Mermil says you know what i'm gonna go first this time and i think he is going to have a full-on orcus combo here but luckily his opponent has a kaiju and has twin twisters so he does have some options for fighting back goes into the Mermil link monster that card is so bad i mean Man, we used to talk about, like, um, Medoche Sistart being bad, but, like, she actually does. So, it, it's funny, some of the uh, Link monsters that we call bad are, like, starting to be useful as um, their decks are actually seeing, like, competitive results. But, <laughs> my goodness, this one is just so bad. Anyways, he did have um, Orchestrated Crescendo and double fog blade but crescendo is now 100 dead he has the ability to twin twister both of them back row or at least two of the three he is going to go for that now he summons panka traps this was the perfect answer to a set fog blade because as he tries to use fog blade on the copy of uh, magius he can just say no i'm just going to panka traps that <laughs> so he does panka traps it this means he's going to get his search on and um you know the thing about crusadia is one card just kind of leads to more cards and they just keep on searching and they can and just keep on doing damage there's the um the copy of equimax finally hitting the field does not have enough damage to kill him however 
since he did use the testament he's able to draw a bunch of cards and i think he's able to actually keep on going nope no he's not actually able to keep on going he's just going to <laughs> summon another monster and pass he is going to try to use heavy infantry off of bestius but just like in the first duel he says you shall not pass i'm going to negate the abyssius and then he uses a boria to give himself some protection now, i don't expect the um eco max to live this turn but i think that he's still fine he's not close to being able to game him here he's going to do some nice damage but he's still pretty pretty mediocre field that he has monster reborn is excellent it's just if nothing else it can get him an equal max but maybe he'll go for that maybe he won't he has rescue cat which is always an excellent playmaker now he can start getting those searches his opponent is going to his opponent's going to use crescendo that's not going to matter because he has essentially his full combo here not going again for guard dragon plays this guy's not looking for guard dragon combos his win condition is equal max so he's basically looking to crank equal max up gonna summon pankatrops now he's going to summon maximus this means he has double battle damage and uh wouldn't you know this dude is already looking like uh already looking like a behemoth at over 8,000 attacks. So this is a wrap. He's going to go ahead just one shot him. Over 12,000 damage in a single attack. Yeah. I kind of like personally, I prefer the, the pure version of um, Crusadia. It's just more entertaining to me. And you get to do that. You get to like just do, you know, insane amounts of battle damage where you're hitting your opponent for 12,000 damage in a single battle phase. And again, this wasn't even his first turn. So, you know, when you go second with the deck, you have so much damage. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the short duels. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already. And turn on that notification bell for daily videos.